Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place. I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I get started today, I just wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button below and you will get a notification every time I post a new wig related video. So today I am bringing you a review for Chase by Paula Young in their color number 10. This is an ashy brunette. So I'm excited to bring this to you because I know a lot of you are always looking for an ashier, you know, brunette color. And at the price point on this wig, which was $79.99, she's a pretty nice piece. And I'm really excited to go through all her specs and show her to you. So first thing I'm gonna do is do a spin so you can see her all the way around and then we'll get into all of her measurements and everything. So. Here's her front. She is slightly angled, as you'll see when I turn to the side. But she is low density. I, I really love the style. She's so natural looking. And a lot of their wigs have a lot of permatees, and I can't find any permatees in this one, so I like that. Okay, so here is my right side. So you can see that just slight angle where she's just slightly longer at the front but it's not a huge jump. There's not a super long layer sticking out there or anything like that. So it's very natural, very cute cut. Here's the back. Great movement to the fibers too. Here's my left side. And again, you'll just see that slight angle. And then she's got some layers around the face which are flattering. So back to the front. Okay, so as far as her cap construction, she does have monofilament. She has a mono part that then comes out to what I would call a mini lace front. The lace front goes from here to here, but the way the style hangs, you really don't see this part over here where there is no lace front. You know, the only time that might be a challenge is if you wanted to pull it off the face, you would just have to be careful and mindful of where that lace front is. But it is nice that she has a mini lace front, and she has a mono part. And it's a pretty good size mono part. It's skinny, but it goes all the way back to the crown. Hope you can see that. Looks really, really nice. And then like I said, I love how she's cut. She just has some gentle layers that frame the face, giving her some movement so she's not just straight and heavy on the ends, which is really cute. Okay, so as far as her measurements are concerned, she is 10 and a half inches from the front, the top, and the crown. All of that is a 10 and a half inch layer. She is nine inches back here in the back. So you can see she's just shorter, slightly shorter in the back. So inch and a half is what you graduate from, you know, inch and a half longer here, you graduate back to a nine inch back. They're saying that's the upper back, but I, I feel like it's all one length back there, so. Okay, and then her nape is three inches. So she actually has a pretty short nape for as long as she is here in the front. But I, I don't know, I just love the style. I think she's super, super cute. I'm really excited. This has been my favorite Paul Young that I've found so far. So really, really cute. Her weight, by the way, is 3.8 ounces. So she's super lightweight. So really, really cute. Okay, let me show you her ear tabs. Now, the cap is fitting on me. It's pretty big on me, as you can see. You know, I can scrunch up a lot of caps. So that's good, because I'm petite. What I will do with this wig is I will tape down the um, lace front so that I don't have to worry about the wig moving around on my head. But for you, if you have a larger head, you know, she's going to accommodate your larger head sizes. She, She's Pressing on the back of my ears with my petite head, I'm 11 inches from here to here, just slightly, but I don't think, because the cap's not heavy or anything, I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. So, but anyway, so ear tabs. Ear tabs are good, I have good coverage. You know, even though the cap, I think is just slightly large for me from ear to ear, I don't have like long ear tabs in front of my ear. And I don't know if you've ever had that experience, but that's uncomfortable. So that just to me is an indication the cap's just too big. So, but she does have metal there in the ear tab and it's staying flush against my head. And I've got pretty good coverage. There's a tiny bit of bio hair sticking out, but as you can see, I've got pretty good coverage there. I'll show you the other side too. So I got a little bit, I don't have much bio hair. <laughs> I'm growing out these little sideburns just for kicks to see what they'll do. But, but anyway, so you can see good coverage there. So really, really cute. So I will pop her off and we can look at the interior of the cap. 
Okay, so let's look at the interior of the cap on Chase. So this is what I'm talking about. You do not have a full lace front that goes over to your ear tab. You just have this mini lace front, goes about halfway across on this side. It's a left side part, but then you have this part, it's skinny, but look at that, it goes clear back to the crown, which is makes the wig look very realistic. And then you've got clothes lace here. There is some wefting under that clothes lace, that flower lace. So that should provide coolness. You've got felt covered ear tabs with a good sized piece of metal. Open wefting all through the cap. She does not have an extended nape. She does have the soft felt here and she has Velcro adjusters. So nice cap construction. The cap is also really soft, just comfortable on my head. So really cute. Okay, let's look at her color. So like I said, they describe their color 10 as a medium ash brown, and I think that is a perfect description. It's simple and it's to the point, and it's just one color, it's just a 10, although it does reflect a little bit of, you know, different colors. We'll see what it looks like outside, but uh, it is just a solid 10. But it's ashy, you guys. I know so many of you like an ash brown, but I don't feel like it's too ashy for me. Sometimes I have to watch like, really cool you know when they really cool the brunettes off sometimes it's doesn't do that much for my complexion but this one's not bad and i like it i think it's a very natural looking brunette and just to show you the ashiness to the tone i do have the mckenna wig here that i'm going to be reviewing this one is in the color eight so this is just one step down from this one but as you can see when i hold McKenna, or when I hold this McKenna in the eight up to that 10, it almost makes this one look red because <laughs> this one is so much warmer. Hope that's showing. So this one is definitely a warmer brown, whereas this one is cooler, it's ashy. So I love it. Really pretty. And I love the way these fibers move. These are not their heat friendly fibers. This is a whisper light. Uh, they call it whisper light monofilament wig. So, the, but the fibers are just light and airy. Now I will say when I received her, she had a serious chemical smell, y'all. So I took her out of the box. I mean, I just opened the box and it was whoo, like big time chemical smell. So I took her out of the box and I put her on my mannequin head and I just let her air out for a couple days and now that smell is completely gone. So I, that must have just been a packaging smell, I guess, factory smell. So, but something to note, if you do smell that smell, let it air out for a couple days and it will go away. So she's cute. Okay, let's take this color 10 outside in the natural light and we'll look at her and see what she looks like out there. Okay, so here we are outside with Paula Young Chase in the color 10. described as a medium ash brown. So you can really see that part out here too. I love that the part goes all the way back, just like a natural part, y'all. It's skinny, but still. And then you got that little lace front there. It's a little breezy out, so hopefully you'll be able to see the wispiness and the fibers too. Okay, take her out here in the natural, in the bright sunshine. Can't talk today. Okay. So you can see she looks shiny out here, but I, I think the, nat the sheen to the fibers, I don't think I would need dry shampoo or anything, so. She's cute, I'm so happy with her. So I really like seeing that ashy brown out there in the natural light. So really, really pretty color. Okay, so as far as styling, first I always wanna cover glasses. So glasses are easy with her. You know, I'm not having any trouble. They're, they're not getting hung up on the wig. Let me put the wig behind my ears so you can see that better. She is ear tuckable. Although the ear tabs are a little flimsy on me, but again, I think that's just because of that slightly, you know, I'm probably maybe an inch shorter here from ear to ear than 
you know, the ideal measurement for this wig. So, but I just, if I carefully put them back, then they're fine. So, but let me show you. Really easy, no problem. So, so as far as styling, as you can see, of course, obviously you could put her behind your ears. Um, you know, you can pull her back with clips and things. I would just be mindful of the fact that that lace front ends. So I think I would pull her back just a little more gently, leave a little coverage there as opposed to pulling her full back like in a bump, you know? So, but she looks cute like that and you just wanna get her, you know, back away from your face or whatever. But I don't think I would do, you know, the full on bump because then you're gonna have that, you know, you've got lace only to here, about the middle of your forehead, maybe just slightly past the middle. So I don't think I would do the full bump on her, but you know, that's just one style that you can't do. So um, you could do a headband with her. Put her behind my ears here. And that looks cute. Maybe pull that little bang out a little bit. That one layer, you could pull a little bit of it out. And then she does have the length, you know, to put her behind the ears and then maybe do a low pony. Well, she's only a three inch nape. I forget that back is, is shorter, but you could do, you know, you could put a little ponytail back there just to get it off your neck if you wanted to. So she's kind of deceiving to my eye because she's longer in the front and I feel like that <laughs> she's long enough than in the back, but there is a little bit of room there to pull her back. You could also pull these sides back. I think I would just kind of keep it low, you know, but they should clip back. Yeah, they clip back. So that looks cute too. So lots of styling options with her. She's so cute. I'm just so excited. $79.99, y'all. That's a great price. And, you know, subscribe to their um, emails and they'll send you discounts too. So you get it for even less, hopefully. So, so really, really cute. So this has been Chase by Paula Young in the color 10, a pretty ashy brown. Yay. So I purchased this with my own funds from Paula Young. Um, I will put a little link below so you can find the wig easily. So, but I don't, you know, I'm not uh, receiving any endorsement from them or anything for doing that. So just doing that as a courtesy. So Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye!